Hey, this is Paul with Bike Skins. And over the past few years and months, I occasionally see something like this. Um, it's not that common because a lot of people that do vinyl work kind of know uh, the tips and also the procedures to kind of get your pieces to wind up being straight on the bodywork. But it's also somewhat common for people to be installing these for the first time and they not really they're not planning out um, common sense kind of things with these wraps so uh, this is uh, an example of a customer that sent me an image from their installer and they said the installer is having a hard time getting the design to line up right on the bodywork and I've explained to them that it's because the first piece that they installed, they kind of installed it a little bit twisted. Um, so let me explain this a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and close this off here. So this is the design. And if we look at this here, you can see the skull placement is kind of crucial. You know, you don't want his nose or eyes to wind up off of the thing. And you also want to make sure that all of this body work here at the bottom is covered. So if we go back to their image, their installer placed, if we look at it, um, especially in this area right here where we see this specific swirl of smoke, if we go back to the original template design, you can see that swirl is a little bit higher up above this body seam. And if we look right on the line there, there's a little bit of shading where the temple is of that skull. So you can see that they've what they've done is they've basically installed this piece tilted to the right by a few degrees. And let me show you what happens whenever you do this. So if you take the image that they provided and I overlay this over the bike sized proportionately to the bodywork there. And I've also got an outline here of the bodywork just to kind of make this a little bit obvious. So what you can do here is we can drag over from the original file the piece. Now this piece doesn't have this turquoise stroke around it. I've just put that on there just to make this a little bit more clear. But you can see if you line up the bottom portion of the skull to the top part with the way the smoke swirls up here at this point and things like that. In order to get to line up with the now installed top part, the bottom winds up being twisted so much that it's not covering the bodywork here at the bottom in this area and it's starting to not covering it at this area so when you're an installer and you get to that point you're like whoa something's really not right here they didn't do the design right but it's all just kind of the physics of how it's twisted now this is a process let me show you how to fix this or how to do this properly to fix this at this point, what you would have to do is have the installer uninstall this and then reorder the piece and continue on with the procedure as I'm getting ready to describe. So it's real common um, if you have multiple pieces over something like this, you definitely want to make sure that they're lined up to each other properly before you start laying anything down. <clears throat> so what I've done here is I've got the pieces that were in the uh, print file. Let me go ahead and hide this bike preview. So now we're just looking at the total design and the outline of the bodywork. So in these two turquoise outline pieces here, we've got the upper and the lower. So if we click on the upper, you can see now we have a placement here where the temple is in the original preview area and by the way all the customers get this so you can see that with a comparison with that shaded part of the temple being where the body seam is and then also if you look at the outline it's evenly spaced all the way around this upper body work piece and now let's show the lower section and I've got the opacity drop down on it just so you can see how it overlaps the upper piece. But if we um, increase the opacity to 100, it hides that overlap. But I want to decrease it back down so you can see the overlap. 
And you can see how there's a lot of overlap onto the upper piece. And now let's hide the lower piece, or let's hide the upper piece, and let's look around the border of it. You can see it's evenly spaced all the way around all of the body work represented by the red outline there. And it's also aligned to this upper skull piece. And it may be a bit confusing because I have the complete background image shown there, but if we hide that and then increase the opacity, you can see that it's lined up properly. Now one thing, sometimes people will um, they don't understand there's an overlap in our videos and some of our documentation on the website explain that there's an overlap. And it's not just an overlap around the edge of the bodywork. In some cases it's overlap onto the um, existing piece that's beside of it. So in this case this lower piece is overlapped onto that upper piece by several inches. And if you didn't realize that and you just tried to stick those two end to end you would say well this can't be right the forehead of the skull is touching where the nose of the skull is on the other piece so this obviously isn't correct but of course keep in mind that there's overlap onto other pieces as well even though it doesn't wind up being on the other piece because you know you're going to trim each of these pieces to this body seam that runs horizontal here but they do line up in that manner with an overlap if you're just trying to get the positioning right so what you want to do is you want to make sure and get this positioning right by looking at the design so you can see where the flames line up there you can line this piece up if we move it a little bit there you can see it's easy to tell when it's off a little bit now if we line this up properly, and I'll put the stroke back on there so you can see that blue outline of where that piece is. Now once this is lined up properly, this is before you peel the adhesive backing off or anything like that, uh, you're going to use some tape. So I've drawn in some tape here in Photoshop to represent taping these two pieces together so they're, they can't be out of alignment from one another. And then you would simply take these two pieces taped together and hold this over the side of the bike getting your positioning right making sure that you have an even number of space all the way around the bodywork at the top part the sides the bottom and everything like that and then what you would do is you would take some additional um, tape and uh, duplicate this So you take additional pieces of tape and tape this down to the bike so on all areas. So you could tape it a couple pieces here, a couple on this side, and then just simply remove the upper piece and then start installing the bottom piece, keeping it anchored in to the correct location that it's at. So that allows you to have uh, complete control over where the positioning of both of these pieces are and the positioning of where these pieces are in relation to one another. And this is how you avoid the misalignment or the twisting and the fitting issues that some uh, first-timers, amateurs run into.